Good afternoon YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to configure your proxy settings. Um, you might be asking why do I why do I need to do this? What's you know I've been asked to do this. Um, I've gone to my IT department and they've said you need to configure your proxy settings. Um, basically you will be connecting to what they call a proxy server. Uh, and what this server does is allow you connection to the internet, but it will filter websites that you go on or uh, filter the you know the search images on Google. You know, there's loads of different things it can you know these these proxy servers can do. Um, it's just a filtering system for you to get on the internet. But uh, your laptop or you know your 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 Mac in this case might require uh, additional settings so you can actually get up and running onto the onto the web so um, just to just to uh, clarify as well as a little disclaimer um, if you're if you're um, going on to a proxy server that company or whoever's proxy server it is whether it's an organization or it's uh, your work proxy server um, they can potentially monitor what you're doing and nine times out of ten they do um, I know in my experience that I've had and where I've worked, we we have monitored um, certain certain usage of what people are going on. Um, it's nine times out of ten to keep you guys safe uh, to what you're going on, so it doesn't bite you in the ass later on. So, anywho, that's just a disclaimer, just so you know what you're getting yourself into when you configure these settings. Um, so let's uh, let's get started. So if we go to the Apple symbol in the top left hand corner. We go to System Preferences, and we are looking for the Networking tab, which is down here. So Wireless and uh, Internet and Wireless, I should say, and the Network tab. So we click on that, uh, and we go to, for example, whatever interface we are using at that time. So at the moment, I'm connected to, I'm using Wi-Fi. So uh, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, Pretty Fly for a Wi-Fi is my uh, SSID name. So I'm connected there. Uh, we could also be connected via a cable, uh, you know, via Ethernet. I can configure it there as well. But um, for this demonstration, we use the Ethernet one, and we know, you know, I'll just configure everything on there, and you can see how it's done. So we click on the Ethernet or whichever one you've, you know, you're using at the time. We we'll click Advanced, um, and we need to go to Proxies. So at the moment, there's lots and lots of different settings here the main two ones that we need are going to be um, web proxy uh, and secure web proxy uh, the difference between these is that the HTTP uses a standard protocol uh, which is port 80 to go out onto the uh, out onto the internet so you know if you go to Google you'll go on port 80 and um, you know you'll you'll get your nice Google homepage uh, for example if we're going to I don't know natwest.com uh, you might you might uh, have to configure this HTTPS uh, proxy setting so you can actually go onto their website in some cases because you know if you're if you're going to uh, transfer money via a bank or you're um, I don't know let's say you're buying buying something through Amazon or you know eBay you know they will use what's called an SSL certificate uh, basically what that that's to encrypt your traffic so there's no one looking in and they can steal all your card details and go on a massive spending spree so anyway so we've ticked both of these uh and here's a field here um for the proxy proxy settings so this first field is for either a host name or an ip address uh, and by the way your it department or whoever you're connecting to should give you these details um, so let's say you know the proxy is uh, an IP IP address IP address. So let's say 10.18.100.1. Let's say, and you know to get onto that proxy, we need to use port 8080. So we use port 8080, uh, and sometimes we're required to use uh, a username and password. So in this case, uh, let's say we we are required. So let's say uh, admin at and the password admin let's just say that uh, 
And nine times out of ten, you'll do exactly the same for this unless they otherwise state. So 8080 again, oh, 8080. And uh, we also need to use a admin admin. So that's our user authentication done. Uh, we click OK, uh, click apply. And once we've done that, you should be able to get onto the internet. Uh, in this case, I am going to be able to get on there anyway. But let's go to Google. Ta-da, we're there. So that's, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe um, to Kinsman Media. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you on my channel again. Thank you. Bye.